as the artist i'm back again today is that day once again it's the day to make magic in the more grave time waits for no man let's go here we are cinema 4d more good people business as usual without wasting time let's make some magic yes the cube is there Let's rescale the cube, hit the edge, bring that in. Let's go to the fillet, I don't know there. 0.1, oh yes. Let's film this wave. Put a five, put a five. Sprinkle those 50, 550. Zoom out. Have no fear in the mobile. Have no fear. First things, add things, move things, you will be creative. That's how I came across these as well. I was just messing around. Cloner. Of course, small grab. Formula. Into the formula parameters, we don't want the position for today. We can scale this 0.5. Just, however, let's look at this from the top. It's more beautiful there. Of course, projection should be top. Let's do this. Let's zoom in now. Okay. Position it. Let's hit play. Okay, not bad. Let's go to the formula. Strength those to 500. Let's end up a rotation. Put in a random values that you desire. I'm going to go with 30, 60, and 90. So now, transform mode, there's three of those, as you can see, the relative, absolute, and remap. Let's focus on the remap on this one. Hit pause. Let's copy that, okay? Let's rotate this. Minus 10 degrees, let's see what we get. Let's hit play. Wow. Just look at that. If you didn't see how this was made, you would think, oh man, you have to click so many clicks to get this, but not really. It's just a slight rotation, you get this effect. Wow. Okay, let's go. Again, let me try to rotate this. Wait a minute. Select all of those clones, come to object. Let's go to multi instance. Okay, this one should go well. In audio. That told you. I don't know. Let's hit, let's hit play. Think I like that. Think I like that too. In audio. So from here, let's uh, let's end it a randomizer. Just see what the randomizer can do for us in this situation. Okay, let's roll this back, select everything, come to the move graph, randomize parameters, let's put zero there, let's put three and three, let's hit play. I think I like that. I like it a lot, so let's make another copy. Okay. Come to coordinates, let's rotate this under 1090 and see what we get. At the end of the day, it's all about experimenting. We're just trying things out. Let's see what works. Wait a minute. Let's put a zero. I think I made a mistake there. Let's put a zero. Let's go back. Wait, it's a 90. This one is a zero. Yeah. Look at that. Just look at that. So now to make things even more interesting. 
Let's go to the more graph. Let's use our plane. By default, our position is been selected. The Y is 100. I'm going to leave it there. Let's put a 50 there and see what happens. Look at that. You can put a maybe 50 in there. Let's see what happens. Come to your playing fields. Let's use a Taurus. Boom. That is so magnificent. Ladies and gentlemen, you have seen what you can do with the more graph. Just few clicks here and there, and you come up with something. Because already, if someone says this from this point, they might think that you use some of the forces there, but you didn't. It's just a randomizer, formula, and the plane effect has from the torus field. Let's invert this and see what we get. Voila. That is so crazy. Let's come to the formula. Position. Look at that. Just look at that. We can add values now and see what you get. You don't have to worry. It's all about trying. Like I said, in the moon graph, have no fear. If you want to be creative, just dig in, start to add things, start to remove things. So, if you have watched my tutorial to this point, I'm very grateful. As if the artist is the name, check some links in the description. Ah, if there's any comments, if there's any comments, drop those in the comments, of course. I the artist as always. A mode. Thank mm -hmm. you.